How do you know that you have truly forgiven someone? By the way you feel when thinking about that person, by the way you speak about them, and by the way that you continue to perceive them. God say we must forgive 77 times seven. You have to forgive people for you and not for them because a person might be undeserving of your forgivingness. Undeserving of your forgivingness because that person might be continuing to do the same things, might be continuously hurting you, might be continuously being malicious and not caring. So in your eyes, why should you forgive them? Well, let me tell you why. Because God says, if you do not forgive others, then God will not forgive you. You don't believe me. You don't believe me. Matthew 6, 14 says, for if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others of their sins, your heavenly father will not forgive you. You see, my friends, forgiveness is essential to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. You cannot live. You cannot have life. You cannot be truly happy and have joy if you do not forgive others of the sins that they have caused you. Their sins is God's responsibility to change. Their ways is God's responsibility. is God's way to change, not yours. The only thing you could do is forgive someone and move on with your life. Forgiveness does not mean you have to keep that person in your life. Forgiveness does not mean you have to be best friends with that person tomorrow. Forgiveness does not mean take continuously abuse and let them use you. No. Forgiveness is forgiving them of their wrongdoings, of the hurt and the pain that they caused you, of everything that they caused you, releasing that energy from you and moving on with your life. The Bible teaches us that that unselfish love is the basis for true forgiveness. Stop being selfish and be selfless and it'll be easier for one to forgive another. When we forgive, we experience relief from pain like never before. God heals us from our wounds by showing us that they are his to carry, God's wounds to carry, not ours. And we can rest in knowing that God has our front, back, sides, head, and feet, that we are fully protected. By the grace of God, no weapon formed against us can prosper. As a true believer in God, we wear the full body armor of Christ. So forgive, my friend. Forgive. Because unselfish love forgives and keeps no records of wrongs. To forgive someone means to no longer hold sin against a person who has sinned against you. If forgiveness is hard for you, here are some steps that you could use to help forgive others. Be honest with God. Pour out your heart to God and ask God to help you forgive others for their sins. Forgive with your faith and by your faith and not by your feelings. It don't matter how you feel. You still have to forgive. Pray for the person. Put them in your prayers. Set healthy boundaries and embrace, embrace your healing journey. Forgiveness involves a kind attitude, abandoning all animosity and hatred that you have for that other person. Anger, wrath, clamor, and evil speaking should be put away. We are not supposed to hold grudges. That also says that in the Bible. If you do these things, your life will become easier. Your life will become better and you will go towards your growth and you will become the higher version of you. But if you hang on to unforgivingness, on to anger, on to wrath, on to bitterness, 
you will have these things in you so they will be weighing you down. The other person can move on with their life and start forgiving themselves and start forgiving the people that hurt them and glow and grow. But you still going to be hanging on to the hurt and pain that this person who's growing and glowing has caused you. So ultimately, you hurting yourself by not forgiving. That's why it is important that we forgive, not for the other person, but for yourself. Forgiveness is also acknowledging that other people have sinned against us and they may not ever be able to make it right. They may not ever get right in life. So you need to move on with your life and stop waiting and expecting on somebody to come say they're sorry or for somebody to come truly beg for your forgiveness or ask for your forgiveness because somebody might not ever do that because somebody might not ever care. So it's up to you to forgive them regardless if they ask for it or not, regardless if they earned it or not and move on with your beautiful, amazing, wonderful life, helping your soul live and thrive in this beautiful place that we call earth. Luke 6, 37 says, do not judge and you will not be judged. Do not condemn and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. If you want forgiveness from other people, you have to be willing to forgive other people. Remember, what you dish out is what you receive. And ultimately, and ultimately, what you're receiving are the very things that you are dishing out. So forgive, my friend. Forgive yourself. Forgive those people who hurt you in order to be forgiven by our merciful and wonderful God. With all that being said, I hope you gained some very valuable information from this video. I love y'all. God loves y'all. Mwah!